Hi everybody! Welcome back to another crafting with me, Aviva, your art director from the Ed Eisner Family Center. Today we are getting down and dirty in the Mod Podge. It is going to be so much fun. Once again, we are doing another spooky crafting session. And this one is extra special because it is a recycled project. The only thing that won't be recycled in this project is our things that kind of created into the thing that we're going to be making, which is a pumpkin. We are going to be making a Mod Podge pumpkin. So we're going to be needing a lot of different types of materials at home, but mostly materials that you, you should have at home. So you might need to do a little bit of hunting and gathering in your house right now, but let's get started. You are going to need a trash bag, okay? I have filled my trash bag up with old paper towels. But this is the best part about this project. Use anything squishy, okay? Let's say you have an old newspaper. You can use packing peanuts. Uh, anything that is moldable, you know? Once I have all of my stuff inside, you want to make sure that it's a good pumpkin size. So you're going to need a lot. So if it's an old pillow, even better, you know, cut that baby up, put it inside the bag. Just make sure that it's as big, you want enough stuff in here as the size that you want your pumpkin to be. All right, so that out of the way. I, I'm using a very small trash bag today too. This is like one of those like desk trash can bags. All right, so I have more of the paper towels that I used inside. Anything thin like this, a lot of people use newspaper for Mod Podge. This is what I have available. Some nice thin paper towels. Tissue paper is also fine if you have some old present wrapping stuff at home, that's good too. A good bowl for your mixture, your Mod Podge mixture. And I'm using two trays today, one is fine. I got these from the 99 cent store. They're a lifesaver when you're doing tie-dye or making uh, beautiful messes like we're doing today. And you're going to need Elmer's glue, not just Elmer, no, like you don't have to use Elmer's glue, but like any liquid glue is fine. Some water. Um, and I am choosing my colors of my pumpkin. So I've got a nice orange, green, brown. Make your pumpkin purple for all I care though. You do you, girl, boy, whoever you are, crafting it up. Um, but I also got some paintbrushes and finally some painter's tape, okay? I suggest using painter's tape because when we place our kind of like sections in our pumpkin, you want to make sure that it's easily rippable and also easy to take off because sometimes mistakes happen and if you're using duct tape, it can rip your bag and then it'll be really hard to mod podge on top of a ripped bag. Okay, let's do it. I'm excited. Let's get messy. So, oh, number one thing though, before we get started, I am on something super protective and safe. So make sure that you're outside or on your kitchen table with some paper dowels down, use that extra newspaper and get into it, okay? So I've got my nice cling, not cling wrap, I've got my uh, like table wrapping that I have here. And so our first step is going to be, obviously moving all this stuff out of the way, and then taking my bag. So you see in here, I've got my full bag of all of my paper towels. And I want my pumpkin to be about like that big. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push down my stuffing and I am gonna just kind of grab at the top, make sure all of this excess part is at the top. And I'm gonna just start squeezing and lightly holding this loop here so some of the air comes out. See how it gets kind of vacuum sealed when we do that? No worries about having a little bit of air in there, it's fine. No worries. So now I've got this lovely little plastic bouquet on the top. And what I'm going to be doing, if you ever tied off a balloon before, 
what you're going to do is you're going to twist. So you got a nice string up here. And what I'm going to be doing is I take my two fingers, put them underneath here, wrap it around. And then since it's so thick, you can't do it like a balloon, but you're just going to put it through this little loop that we made. So you're going to come around and put it through the loop, making a little knot. No worries if your knot isn't perfect either. I use my knot to make my stem for my pumpkin, okay? So if you want a bigger stem, I suggest making this knot. And if you want to stick with our recycled kind of situation here, you can take an old paper bag and just kind of crinkle it up into like a little tube and then just kind of lay it on the top here and mod podge on top of that. But I like a little tiny stem. I think it looks cute, like a little hat. All right, so no worries about these corners because now what our step is, now that we've got like our pumpkin shape going on, we are going to be taking our painter's tape. And I have actually already, usually painter's tape comes out in like a two inch width kind of thing. Like, see how it's pretty wide? I don't want my sections to be that wide there. So I want them to be pretty skinny. So I've taken my painter's tape and I've just cut it in half. I, uh, just doing that, I put, I just put it on the top of my glue bottle and I just kind of cut up the middle. So I get a nice thin piece. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start making my sections. Cause you know how pumpkins have those little lines coming down the sides. Um, what we're going to be doing is doing that with our tape. So I'm kind of wrapping it around the top. See, I went on both sides, making sure that it comes all the way down to the bottom here. So our stem is defined and we are just pulling it all the way down and see how I'm making it tight and it kind of bunches here. That's exactly what we want. So it gives it that really cool pumpkin section look. Okay. So now I'm going to be doing that all around. So just one more time here. I'm coming around the stem, going right underneath the bottom, making sure it's stuck down, getting that nice defined stem and just pulling as I tape. I'm going over the corner here and you see how when I go over the corner, I'm pulling still. And when I get to the bottom, I'm just kind of ripping off that accident, excess. All right, so now I'm gonna do that all the way around my pumpkin and even getting in between these spots here. I'm gonna do about six. Here's our pumpkin. Doesn't look like much now. Definitely has pumpkin kind of feelings right now. But you see how we've kind of defined our stem a little bit with our tie and our tape. And I like squeezing it down a little bit because that kind of defines our little sections that we've made already. Alrighty, so let's get into it. So for our Mod Podge, you're gonna take before we actually get our tray out for our pumpkin, we're going to use this tray for, actually let's use the blue one, for our mixture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two parts glue, um, one part water, okay? So it really depends how big your pumpkin's going to be or your sculpture if you're just doing Mod Podge in general. So I'm going to put a good amount of glue in here. So I just covered the bottom of the bowl. And now I'm gonna take my water here and I'm gonna do just about like half of that. Okay. Taking the end of my paintbrush here, I'm just gonna do a little bit of mixing. 
it should be a nice liquidy white at the end. If it seems a little bit too thick, you can add a little bit more water. You definitely want it sticky though. All right, that looks pretty good. Now I have my already sliced up paper towels here right now, ready to go. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my other tray And I'm just gonna place my already made pumpkin. And if you've already Mod Podge before, you know you should probably be wearing something that you don't really care about. And just kind of go for it. So I'm gonna take my first piece. I kind of like using big pieces when I Mod Podge, it makes it a lot easier. But if you want that really smooth, no lumps kind of Mod Podge, which isn't a pumpkin. A pumpkin has tons of flaws, warts and bumps and lines and everything. But if you're making something smooth, I suggest using smaller pieces. So what I'm doing is I'm just coating my paper in my mixture. And I'm just laying it across. I'm just gonna start at the top here. I'm just gonna define that stem here. And you're just gonna kinda go for it. See how I'm smoothing as I go? I definitely wouldn't suggest this project for someone who doesn't enjoy getting their hands super messy, but you know, it's been so nice outside. Go on the grass, do some Mod Podge, just get a little messy. I think it's, it's fun to get a little bit messy sometimes. All right, so see, I'm overlapping too. And don't worry about seeing your tape. Even though you can see your tape at the end, when it dries, you know, it kind of lightens up the paper towel again, covers that blue marking, and then you're gonna be able to paint over it anyways. All right, so I'm just gonna be laying this across my pumpkin and I'll come back to you once it is all covered up. I've completely covered the top and bottom of my pumpkin. So I always end up forgetting the bottom part, but you really want to make sure the bottom's also covered too. You don't want just like plain plastic bag on the bottom there. So now is the time you just do your last few smoothing bits. Make sure your stem is pretty defined. If you ended up doing the paper bag trick where you kind of bunched it and made it a little thicker up here, just kind of smooth around that. And there you have it, looks pretty good, right? <laughs> We're all done. No, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> all right, so now, just so we don't have to wait a bunch of hours for this to finish, which it will take a few hours, I suggest putting it out in the sun, letting it dry completely. Um, mine took about an hour to dry. So this is my a little tinier, wonkier pumpkin. So you see how it dried pretty sturdy. The sides are not as defined as this first one, obviously. I kind of like my second one more, but we want those lumps here. This is, this is the main thing, get those sections defined. So now for the painting, you can choose any color you'd like. I suggest one painting you mix a few colors. I always tell my students, you should never really just take a color from the tube and go with it like that. Unless it's like a metallic or a shiny, you know, you don't wanna mix that unless it's like a lighter color. But anyways, so I'm taking my orange. Let me open up this little plastic part in here. Probably should have done that already. Pouring that into the middle, taking a little bit of brown, making it that nice kind of rusty color, and just a little bit of green, just a little bit. 
So now I'm gonna take my paintbrush, make sure you got some water nearby, give it a nice little mix, and see how it starts turning into like a really nice pumpkin-y orange. Pretty. I think mixing colors is one of my favorite parts about painting. Pretty. Okay, lovely. So it looks kind of dark. So let me add a little bit more orange. And I'm not going to be wasting any paint today because I know I'm going to cover my whole pumpkin. Top and bottom. Alrighty. So enjoy this satisfying little speed through as I paint my pumpkin. Finally, I am just adding on my little section shadows, really just trying to define these little bumps that we made here at the tape. And once I'm done with this, I mean, it definitely looks wonky. This is definitely one of those projects that are just mainly the best part is making them. I personally love Mod Podge. I think it is so fun. It makes your own little sculpture. It makes it so it's so open-ended you know you can really make anything you'd like if once you have a good base a good like mold you know you know how we used our trash can as our mold our trash bag as our mold today you can use wire you can use clay and just kind of build off of that sometimes my uh my friend emily uses duct tape and just kind of uses wire and newspaper and duct tape to make her mold and then just mod podges over that so there's so many different things that you can do with mod podge oh balloons too i've seen a lot of people use balloons as their base too and then pop it afterwards so all you have is like a nice hollow middle well there you have it my pumpkin is definitely a little bit wonkier than i wanted but i feel like it has character. <laughs> this is just, I'm gonna turn around my ugly side. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there we go, our pumpkin. So uh, I hope you had fun Mod Podging with me today, making our little wonky pumpkin. Um, I'll see you guys next week. <laughs> go let your pumpkin dry now, by the way. But I definitely don't suggest just plopping it on your dining room table. Bye guys. <laughs> See you next time.